All right, I'm feeling extra productive today, so I'm going to be installing a backup camera. Looks like this on the back of the bus. Uh, I've had this sitting around for a while, but right now the bus is completely stripped on the inside, so running wire is going to be a cinch. So I got a wired one, so this one won't require being tapped into any other lights or anything to get the, the power it needs. So I'm going to figure this out, set it up. Okay, so I set up all of my camera equipment. Here's the camera. Uh, plugged it all in the way that I, I think it's supposed to be set up, and I did a test with the uh, the wires, this is the ground wire. I plugged it into the, the switch in here, to the master switch, which is this one right here. And um, everything seems to be working, so now I'm gonna go ahead and start drilling and mounting and setting it up for, for permanent. Yeah. All right, before I get too far ahead of myself, this is the extension cord that's gonna run the length of the bus up here, up high all the way to the back where the camera is. So the camera's gonna be plugged into that receptacle right there. And then I ran the wire all the way around, so it's gonna come up this way, down through that hole right there, which I just found. I didn't put it there, but it's convenient. Run it down next to this air hose, which runs, this is for the horn. And then it comes down and I unscrewed this dashboard filthy dashboard and uh, was able to just pop the wire under there and it's it's loose like it doesn't it's not gonna stress it out or anything and so then it comes down to the switcher unit and it plugs in right there in the backup port and then I just put the switcher unit in here in the nest of wires and then I'm going to connect these are the power for each individual this is this is the ground the black one is the ground, red is for the power for that unit, and then blue supplies power to channel three, and then white and yellow aren't going to be used because I don't have any other cameras, but they, they power these two channels. By having the red and the blue spliced together, which again is power for this unit and power for the uh, for that, for this channel, whenever I pull the switch that these are going to be on, it'll provide power to both of them simultaneously. Turn the camera on, and then I'll have my backup cam my backup camera switch. Basically, um, there are other ways to do it where you. It's, a, it's really just a matter of preference. I didn't. I felt like having a switch so that I could shut it off if I wasn't if I didn't really need it. Uh, turn it on when I do but it wouldn't be any kind of power drain on the battery because it's hooked up to the uh, the bus batteries, the, the engine batteries. So then this switch over here runs to the monitor. So I have to drill a hole right there. It's gonna come up right behind the monitor and plug in and this is where I'm gonna mount the monitor. Nice for right underneath my wind, my uh, ew, condensation. Right underneath my mirrors, I can actually keep it right here know exactly what's behind me while I'm looking out my left mirror. I think it'll work out pretty well, but I just jinxed it, so now we'll see how it actually works out. All right, so blue and red are now spliced together using one of these little connections. Uh, the switch that I'm going to use is right here. This is, it used to be what was labeled as the master, which had something to do with the uh, the flashers, but as you know from my previous video, the flashes are gone and have been replaced by the floods. Um, so I disconnected it, labeled it, because you never know when you're going to need to relabel something. The other end of it is right here. Um, you can't see the label, but it says to master. Uh, so I unhooked it, I, I terminated it as well as I could. And now I'm going to take the, the red and the blue that have been twisted and spliced together. I'm going to connect them right in here. Just like that. 
Now the master switch will provide power to the red and the blue. The ground wire right here, I connected, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, all the way in the back there. You see that screw right there? It's connected to that using one of these. So that is a ground wire. This is also a ground wire that goes to nowhere. Left over from the flashers. Just kind of stuffed in there. So now, now I've got power to this thing. If I pull the switch, it'll start providing power to this, but nothing else is hooked up yet. And now I've got to hook up the camera and the, the monitor. Oh yeah, I also drilled the hole here for the monitor. I uh, haven't attached this part yet, but I'm getting there. Okay, I'm in the process of running the wire. This is the camera wire right here. That went behind. And now it goes up through the hole. Follow it along. I'm running it all the way back to the camera along these wires. And I'm using these little twisty ties to make it nice and tight. But first I'm gonna get it there and then we'll tighten it up and make it look nice. I also put the mount on, screwed in. It's kind of cheap, but whatever. This is the camera wire. Ran in a big cable. I ran the big cable all the way down from the front. Remember it went down that hole into the console. Ran it all the way around here. Got it connected to the camera, which then runs through all of this nasty goop uh, roof sealant. up to the outside where the camera is. And you can see, I also gooped up the, uh, the screws that are holding the camera in place. Uh, tried to seal it up as much as possible so water will never, ever, 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 ever be an issue. Um, it's pretty gross, but it should rubberize and look, it should basically be impenetrable. Um, on the other side, I also did that. <laughs> right underneath the bolt, the screws. But, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. So, yeah, just finishing up now. Gotta neaten up these wires and then we'll give it a test run. Okay, got the monitor hooked up. It's uh, mounted to the bracket. Ran the cord down through the hole that I drilled. I'm gonna have to probably pad that up somehow. The gasket. And then it runs down through the big nest of wires right into the back. This is the monitor output right here. Everything else is hooked up. It's now the moment of truth. Let's see if we actually get any signal. Let me flip the master switch. Ha! Ah. That is the back of my bus, my big garbage pile. <sighs> I feel like I've accomplished something. It's pretty good. I'm gonna have to adjust the uh, the camera, but yeah, looks pretty good. All right, the backup camera is installed. Everything is done. Uh, cleaned up all the wires inside, and then I had Jolene help me adjust it. Uh, so I put the ladder really close here, so you can see just how close the ladder is. Mind how close each rung is. One, two, three, fourth one's pretty much under the bumper. Uh, now let's go inside. Oh, what a mess. I have it wired into the master, so I pull the master. There you go. You can see the top two rungs, it looks like. Or top rung, at least. That's how close it is. I don't know how to get rid of that display. I don't think it actually does go away, but whatever. 
I mean, I can see all the way across the alley pretty much. Gives me a good idea of how close I am to something behind me. So, that's what I wanted out of it. Bam, I've got a backup camera. Doesn't get in the way of anything. I can look at it while I'm looking at my mirrors. Yeah, getting pretty close to doing some more serious buildup.